When you hear the word survival, your first thoughts may be of a time when hunter-gatherers roaming the planet continually search for sustenance, shelter, and safety. Or maybe the thoughts are a bit more lighthearted, like Man vs. Wild with Bear Grylls, History Channels alone, or even the less extreme but equally entertaining series Survivor. There's also a fair chance at one point or another, you've had a strong desire to just leave the monotony of office life and venture out into the wilderness, Kerouac style, with nothing but a pack full of gear and a penchant for adventure. Whatever the case may be, whether it's a weekend survival trip to test the limits of your skills or stocking up on gear for potential emergencies like natural disasters or pandemics, we've compiled a list of purpose-built survival EDC gear to, at the very least, have you better prepared for potential life-threatening situations. Before we begin, if you've come looking for an extremely hardcore survival EDC guide, this may not be it. While this is certainly great EDC survival gear with tools that you can certainly wield in light survival situations, our picks have a balance of function and great everyday carry design language. So without anything further, let's dive right in. Survival is all about taking care of basic priorities first. That means shelter, water, fire, and food. There's nothing that will threaten your survival more than exposure to the elements, and this also means being well equipped with proper clothing. Huckberry's flint and tinder flannel lined wax trucker jacket has become a fall and winter fashion staple, but it's equal parts rugged and prime for protection against the cold and the rain. Sure, the super hardcore survivalist might have beef with its inclusion on this list, but if it was enough to protect Pedro Pascal's character Joel from the elements in HBO's hit television series The Last of Us, it's good enough for us. The flint and tinder jacket is a synthesis of classic trucker jacket styling, think cues from Levi and Strauss, with the waterproofing techniques of old world sailing. Fully made in the USA, the flannel-lined wax trucker from Flint and Tinder uses a hard-wearing, weather-resistant wax Martexton 7-ounce sailcloth sourced from Bridgeton, New Jersey, in a mill that's been in business since 1930, soft striped polyester blanket for the plush lining, and custom-branded metal buttons with a rough-out stonewash finish. Centuries ago, sailors braving and surviving some of the world's harshest seas treated their ship's sails with a mixture of resin, oil, fats, and wax to waterproof the canvases and prevent damage. The Flint and Tinder Wax Trucker uses the same technology, specifically sailcloth treated with Martexan Original Wax that repels moisture and effectively seals the fabric. Once it wears away over the years with regular use, the wax can be reapplied to bolster the protection against the elements. Huckberry themselves describe the Flint and Tinder jacket as a three-season piece, light enough for mildly cold spring mornings or fall evenings, as the thin flannel lining runs the total length of the sleeves, but heavy and durable enough to use as an outer layer over a hoodie or a crew neck for more serious use cases. As a final note, Huckberry suggests sizing the jacket up, as they tend to run a little smaller. But keep in mind that no matter the size, the sleeves are cut a little bit long, but will conform over time to a personalized fit. Another tenant of basic survival is water. In this case, the rule of three is handy to remember. Humans can't survive three minutes without air, three days without water, and three weeks without food. So just after fresh air, clean water is unquestionably something you must attend to, quickly. The LifeStraw Peak Series Solo is one of the latest portable life-saving water filtering devices. LifeStraw has been creating life-saving water filtration systems since 1999, when Vestergaard, LifeStraw's parent company, created a filtration device to filter out guinea worm larvae from water in Africa. Since then, the technology and filtration has been honed and appropriated for all kinds of survival use cases. The Peak Series Solo, specifically, has been purpose-built to attach directly to the mouth of a water bottle, evolving the standard life straw that's received so much attention. The bottom of the filter has a standard 28mm thread compatible with most water bottles that you'll find at the corner store or the grocery store. At just 1.7 ounces and just 5.1 inches in length, the ultra-portable water filter can purify 1 liter of water in approximately 20 seconds, and is good for 1,999 more before you need another. At the top, a cap protects the leak-proof mouthpiece that allows an outward flow of 3 liters per minute, and the middle real estate is where the proprietary micromembrane filter resides, protecting the drinker from a slew of bacteria, parasites, and microplastics. Plus, sticking to their original ethos, Life Straw by Vestergaard provides safe drinking water for one year to a child in need with every purchase. And that's certainly something we can get behind. The earliest known accounts of man wielding fire dates back nearly one million years based on cave paintings and charred animal bones found in South Africa's Wonderwork Cave. Now, fire is taken for granted when you can click the stove or flick a lighter and produce a flame instantly. However, the minute you step into nature and away from the home, it becomes quite clear just how important fire is for staying warm, safely cooking food, and sanitizing water. The Exotac Titan Light is one of the best fully waterproof refillable lighters on the market, making it one you can depend on in emergency situations. To create fire, you need the holy trinity of oxygen, heat, and fuel. In outdoor or survival situations, heat, in other words a spark, can be incredibly difficult to produce. 
You need a dependable solution resistant to moisture that combines a fuel source with an ignition source. The Exotac Titan light is a lot like a standard flint wheel lighter, but beefs up the IP rating so you don't ever have to worry about creating a fire in any situation. The When Revolution threaded cap, bolstered by a rubberized o-ring, protects both the wick from moisture and prevents your fuel source, butane, from evaporation, something conventional Zippos are highly prone to. Further protecting your fuel source is an end cap with another silicone ring, and removing it allows you to refill the reservoir quickly. The entire US-made unit, end caps and all, are crafted out of aircraft-grade aluminum, so with proper maintenance, the Titan Light will last a lifetime. Light is an invaluable survival tool. There are hundreds, maybe even thousands of imaginable situations where literally bringing light to a dark situation could mean the difference between life or death. The Olight Baton 3 Pro is one of our favorites for dependability, and here's why. First and foremost, the Baton 3 Pro has a maximum runtime of 120 days. Capacity is a big deal. There will be certain quote-unquote survival situations we can think of where you may have access to electricity to recharge your flashlight, but that's a big if, and planning for the best, not the worst. Of course, this mode doesn't max out the power. It's rated at the lowest moonlight setting of 0.5 lumens, but it's there and it has your back, especially useful for small tasks. If, however, you do need to quickly recharge the internal 18650 battery, simply use the included magnetic charger that secures to the base. If you want more output, your total runtime will decrease, but there are a total of 5 modes, incrementally stepping up to the maximum 1500 lumens, as well as an emergency 3Hz strobe. Battery capacity combined with a powerful 1500 lumen output, a 175 meter throw, and a compact form factor of 3.99 inches make the Baton 3 Pro well suited for survival situations. But even more than that is the IPX8 rating, or full protection with complete submersion. A first aid kit seems like an obvious inclusion in an EDC survival guide but not all are created equal. Most kits will prove sufficient for minor injuries like cuts, scrapes, and minor burns, but when it comes to actual survival cases, they can be lacking. The MyMedic Sidekick First Aid Kit beefs up your standard CVS variant by offering 70 products and an ultra-portable pouch outfitted with external Hypalon Molly webbing for attaching it to a backpack, beefy rubber-coated zip poles for quick access, and first aid resources hand-picked by experts. The Sidekick measures 7.5 inches in height by 5.5 inches in width by about 1 inch thick with a weight when full of 14.2 ounces. The Sidekick organizes the first aid items by category, bleed, burn, medications, sport and outdoor, topical, hydration, and tools. And if you're really pressed for time, the Sidekick builds in a tearaway panel without needing to unbuckle the front face. We don't have time in this guide to sort through all 70 first aid items, but take our word for it, the kit is comprehensive ranging from super skin bandages to hydration and water purification tablets to burn gel as well as common pain relievers to a slew of topical meds like antibiotic ointment and hydrocortisone and a pair of disposable gloves. A multi-tools bang for your buck in survival situations is bar none. Name any other pocketable survival tool that builds in the versatility of a multi-tool. There are none. And what better multi-tool for survival than the dedicated Leatherman Signal Outdoor Multi-Tool that packs in almost 20 purpose-built tools that could aid in saving your life. Leatherman has built out a fairly extensive catalog of multi-tools, so what makes the signal better for survival than the rest? Well, a few things. At the top of this list is a safety whistle, a ferrocerium rod for fire starting, a full-size saw, a carabiner, a diamond-coated sharpener, and a hammer. The rest of the tools are your standard inclusions like needle nose pliers, regular pliers, premium replaceable wire cutter and hard wire cutters, a wire stripper, a 2 and 3 quarter inch 420HC combo knife, an awl with a threaded loop, a can opener, a bottle opener, a quarter inch hex bit drive, a bit driver, a quarter inch box wrench, and a 3 16th box wrench. Extremely comprehensive. The Signal Outdoor Multi-Tool also builds in a deep carry pocket clip, making it possible to easily carry on person, or to attach it to some molly or loop on the outside or inside of your pack, and the tools are easily accessible from the outside, making one-hand deployment entirely possible. The Signal weighs about 7 ounces, sizes up at 4.5 inches when closed, and comes in a slew of colors like aqua, cobalt, stainless steel, and green. Bear Grylls, famed TV personality, survivalist, and former soldier, has collaborated with Luminox, a Swiss watchmaker known for their rugged, hyper-functional watches to craft a one-of-a-kind watch tailored for survival. Everyone knows about G-Shocks. Despite their mainstream popularity and just how rugged they are making them prime units for survival, we also could have easily saved a place for them in this guide. However, the Luminox Bear Grylls survival watch builds in a few more features that are just a touch more specific when it comes to taking care of yourself in extreme situations. 
Those being the removable compass attached to the waterproof rubber strap, chronograph pushers at the 2 and 4 for easy timing, 300 meters of water resistance, a lightweight wearing experience courtesy of the proprietary Carbonox case material, durable corrosion resistant 316L stainless steel accents, and constantly glowing loom dial elements with a 25 year lifespan. Dimensionally, the Bear Grylls Survival Watch is 45mm across, 14mm thick, and all in all clocks in at 55mm lug to lug. Like the Mudmaster series by G-Shock, it will run large, no way around it. But survival is survival, and this isn't made to be the best go anywhere do anything watch out there. It's a tool, just like our other picks, and the large size is great for visibility. Function is essential in emergency or outdoor survival situations, and this watch has those elements in spades. On the case back, they've engraved one of Bear Grylls' most iconic quotes, Never give up, and a bright orange embossing that matches the orange screw down crown, and that passionate ethos is what makes this collaboration so special. Inside is a Ronda 5030D Swiss Quartz chronograph with a 54 month battery life. For emergencies, having a quartz watch handy for accurate timing is highly recommended over the mechanical counterparts. They'll never have to be reset once a power reserve runs out, and the timekeeping is even more accurate than even the most expensive fully mechanical watches in existence. Celebrity collaborations can be a little bit iffy, more hype than value, and tremendously expensive. But Luminox knocks it out of the park here with their collaboration with Bear Grylls, and we're happy to report that this watch maintains the Luminox standard for excellence, with a slew of survival EDC-friendly tools right on the wrist. There will be situations where a multi-tool blade just won't cut it. The Extrema Ratio Route 2 is a compact, highly durable bushcraft field knife whose first iteration was originally commissioned by the 185th Paratroopers Reconnaissance Target Acquisition Regiment of the Italian Army Special Forces. Operating under the motto, See Without Being Seen, this regiment's gear has been crafted with great attention to detail to survive the world's toughest environments, and that's exactly why this knife in particular made our list of the best survival EDC essentials. When you boil it down, there are largely two main components of a folder, the blade and the handle, with subcategories that fall under each, like the bevel and the grind, thumb stud, jimping, shape, lock type, pivot, finger choil, etc. Synthesizing this, what makes the improved 4.7 inch draw point blade special is the premium bowler N690 stainless steel with a 58 HRC. The stubby tanto profile of version 1 was updated to a sharper draw point profile with a similar grind and finished with the same mil spec black oxide burnishing for an all blacked out silhouette lending an extremely stealthy look. There are also a few aspects that make the updated handle special, those being the lightweight but highly durable anti corrodal anodized aluminum scales and the locking system. While the Rao 2 is by all means a folding knife, it can be locked in place with a threaded tethering pin, making it for all intents and purposes, once doing so, a fixed blade, which certainly helps with peace of mind during really extreme use. The shape has been reworked for better ergonomics this time around, and it feels exceptionally balanced in hand when the blade's deployed, even better than the first. The very last thing you want is a gnarly knife injury when you're already in a compromising situation, and the Rao 2 takes safety and performance to the next level. World War II soldiers had paracord naturally built into their parachutes, and those that didn't jump from planes packed it away anyway for building impromptu shelter, fixing bootlaces, or tethering stray gear down. There are virtually infinite use cases for paracord during survival situations, and instead of stuffing it into a pack, why not wear it around the wrist? The Friendly Swedes Trilobite Extra Thick Paracord Bracelet tethers up to 4 meters of OD Green Mil-Spec Polyester Paracord to the wrist. The Friendly Suite offers three sizes, a small, medium, and a large, extra-large combo, with 3.4 meters, 3.6 meters, and 4 meters of paracord, respectively. The small size fits wrists that fall between 6 to 7 inches, medium 7 to 8, and the large, extra-large for wrists 8.8 .8 inches to 9.9 .9 inches in circumference. The black buckle hardware is a simple pin lock mechanism to engage or disengage the bracelet. Now, how about strength? Polyester is one of the most durable forms of paracord, and with that comes a strength rating of 500 pounds. When you consider that survival without sustenance is possible for three weeks, on average, taking care of clean water and reliable shelter are primary priorities. Once you check those puzzles off the list, it's time to find nutrition. The real concern after a few weeks without food is the breakdown of muscle, which eventually leads to organ failure. One of our favorite compact tools for harvesting food is the Exotac X-Reel, a handline fishing kit apt for backpacking, hiking, or any survival situation. The X-Reel fishing kit includes six split shot for sinking line, six hooks, two floats, and roughly 15.24 meters, or just over 50 feet of high strength monofilament line. The outer case is a two-part coated metal canister secured to a TPE finger strap for control, in case your catch is larger than expected. The canister is machined to allow all 15 meters of the monofilament to spool neatly between the high points here and here. 
and it sports hook parking holes along the periphery for safety. Inside, the main real estate has just enough space for the included tackle, plus a bit more room for any extra bait or lures you wish to pack away. If bracelets aren't really your thing, or your arm real estate is already occupied by a watch, the next best solution to keeping your paracord organized, or frankly anything organized, fishing line, tape, medical bandages, is the gear spool. This incredibly simple, no moving parts metal spool is just that, a lightweight, high quality gear spool for EDC applications that measures two and three quarter inches long with rubber bushings at each side to tamper the noise and holes for a lanyard or a carabiner. Although the gear spool is incredibly handy for wrangling paracord or a monofilament, its primary use case is tape, and duct tape, another survival EDC essential we didn't explicitly include on this list, has a wide range of uses in extreme situations. Wrangling duct tape in a form factor smaller than the entire roll is a harder task than it sounds, but the gear spool makes it seamless. Speaking of carabiners, they date back to the early 1900s in the climbing arena, which should come as no surprise. Over time, smaller versions have made a name for themselves in the EDC space, for holstering keys and keychain EDC to the hip, to a backpack, or anywhere in between. The outdoor element Firebeaner Carabiner, however, takes the game to the next level, with a survival EDC carabiner meets multi-tool that makes all other standard carabiners look like mere toys. Okay, maybe not quite, but it's a damn good survival tool that could replace your average carabiner that only serves one function, with a carabiner that builds in nearly half a dozen. Note that although the Firebeaner carabiner packs in serious utility, the carabiner isn't meant for climbing, with a fairly low 100-pound weight rating largely meant for EDC. Among the top uses, a stainless steel carabiner, of course, with a 100 pound weight rating with a very hard wearing titanium coating, a flathead screwdriver, a bottle opener, a small utility blade, hang slots, and as the name suggests, an ever spark wheel for starting fires. And apart from its functions, you also have the ability to pick from half a dozen colorways. Like we said in our introduction, we didn't take ourselves too incredibly seriously when it came to assembling this guide of survival EDC essentials. Before you crucify us, this is a guide like all of our guides, where form and function are taken into account and curated. So with that being said, we'd love to hear from you. Drop us a line below with any survival EDC you think deserves a mention.